On today's episode, I'll refinish this mid-century coffee table. I began by disassembling the table, which was easy in this case, because it was all bolted or screwed together. There weren't any glued joints to deal with. Once I had it disassembled, then I began removing the old finish. I used a scraper to scrape it off. As is the case in a lot of these mid-century pieces, the finish was a thin colored lacquer. And if we look at the bottom of the table, we can see some clues as to how it was finished. Along the top edge of the apron here, you can see a tan line where they sprayed the finish on, but it didn't quite reach that top edge. So the natural light color of the wood is showing through there. Also here on the back of the leg, there's a spot where the finish didn't reach. And on the back side, you can see the natural color with no finish on it at all. I'm not sure what kind of wood this is, but the colored lacquer was used to make it look more like walnut. And they probably didn't use walnut because it would have been more expensive. Once I had scraped off as much as I could, then I sanded it. I used an orbital sander and I was very careful, especially on these apron pieces, not to go over the edge and change the contour of the edge. That's easy to do. So you have to be careful. And I used the same process to remove the finish on the legs. Before I removed the finish on the top, I wanted to address this corner here. It may be hard to see in the video, but it looks like the table was dropped on that corner. There's also some damage to the finish on the top in that corner. And it made a little bump in the top, a raised spot. And it was the kind of thing that was easier to feel with your fingers than actually see. But I wanted to try and fix that before I put the new finish on. So I needed to push that raised portion back down. In order to get that bump pushed back down, I needed to make some space right under the surface of the top so that it had room to go down. And to do this, I just took a saw and made one cut. And the width of the saw kerf gave me enough room to get the bump to go back down. But I would also need some kind of adhesive in there to keep it down. So I used some epoxy. Epoxy seemed like the best thing to use in this case since there was probably going to be some voids in there and the epoxy could fill those voids. I also mixed in some walnut sawdust into the epoxy and this helped to color it and also just made it a little thicker. So I put the epoxy into that little slot that I made and then clamp it up. After giving it plenty of time to dry I took off the clamps and it worked. The bump in the top had been pushed down so that corner was nice and flat again. Once that repair was done, then I could remove the finish from the top. The finish was in rough shape it had the usual dings and scratches all over, and it looked like at some point in its life, somebody had brushed on some new finish over the top. And if you looked at it in just the right kind of light, you could see the texture in the finish. 
it was kind of lumpy and bumpy. So that would all have to come off. And again, I used a scraper followed by some sanding. And this top is a veneer, so I had to be really careful to only do as little sanding as I had to so that I didn't sand through the veneer. Which is why I scrape it first. It reduces the amount of sanding that I have to do. Once all of the finish had been removed, I wet down the top and a piece of the apron. And this basically shows me what it would look like if I put a clear finish on it. As you can see, the top is a lot darker than the apron. The top is a walnut veneer and the apron is an unknown lighter wood. And it's not a veneer, it's solid. The color of the walnut top looked great and I could see that I wouldn't even need any stain on that. I could just put a clear finish over it. But I wanted to bring the color of the apron and the legs closer to the color of the top. So for that, I would use some stain just on the apron and legs. The stain that I went with was a dye stain, and I've used this in a few of my previous videos recently, and I made this just by mixing some trans tint medium brown dye with water, and that was it. And I just wiped it on and let it dry. Once the stain was dry, then I could put on the top coat. And in this case, I'm using an oil-based satin wipe-on polyurethane. And I wiped on maybe three or four coats. Here I'm wiping it on the top, which didn't get any stain, so this is just the natural color of the veneer. For the side edge of the tabletop, I decided not to strip the original finish off of there 
because the top is probably made of either plywood or particle board with veneer on top and bottom. So this edge here was sprayed with a pretty dark finish at the factory, probably to hide the plywood edge or whatever is under there. So I didn't bother removing that because it was in pretty good shape except for a few scratches here and there. So to freshen it up a bit, I just wiped on some antique walnut gel stain. And then once that dried, I put some clear satin wipe on polyurethane over that. Once the polyurethane was completely dry, the finishing touch was to go over it with some fine steel wool and some wax. And then I could put it all back together. And here it is, all finished. Thanks for watching.